Welcome to this tutorial for Paradigm Elements for Ports 1.4. In this tutorial, you'll learn how to send triggers to an EEG or biopack system from within a Paradigm experiment. If you are following along with your own copy of Paradigm, please make sure you are using Paradigm Elements for Ports 1.4, which is available on our website, ParadigmExperiments.com. I'd like to note that this tutorial assumes you have a basic knowledge of Paradigm. If you have never used Paradigm before, please watch the Getting Started video tutorial on our website or work through the Getting Started guide that is available in Paradigm's Help menu. After you've installed Paradigm Elements for Ports, you'll notice that a new Ports toolbox has been added to the Paradigm Design View. This new toolbox contains all the trigger commands you can add to your experiment. Port elements are always dragged into the Commands area of a Paradigm event. So the experiment we're going to be using for this tutorial is a simple force choice experiment where the subject here is a word presented by the stimulus audio event and then must choose the picture that matched the word they just heard which is presented by the choice event. So in this experiment we're going to want to send triggers to mark the onset of the audio stimulus and the response. Okay, so the first thing we should do is configure the port we're going to use to send triggers to our data collection device. Typically, you'll be using the parallel port to communicate with a biopack or EEG system. So let's enable the parallel port device by opening Paradigm's Device Manager and enabling the parallel port. Okay, so once enabled, the parallel port presents three different options, LPT port, the port mode, and interrupt IRQ. Interrupt IRQ is not going to be used for these experiments, so we can ignore it. If you're using an integrated parallel port, meaning it came with your computer, you're going to stay with LPT1. If you've added a parallel port card to your computer, those will typically use LPT3. If Paradigm is still having trouble finding your parallel port, you may want to try LPT2 or 4. Some parallel port cards are not compatible with Paradigm, and you should consult the support page of our website for more information about that. For the port mode, typically PS2 mode works for almost all devices. If you are not seeing your triggers show up in the device's data, the first thing you should do is change the port mode to something like ECP and try again. You should be able to find one of these modes that works with your system. Now that the parallel port has been configured, the first thing to do is add a begin session element to your experiment. Begin session is what establishes communication between Paradigm and your EEG or Biopack system. Begin session is typically added to the experiment's command area. So to do that, first I'm going to click on the top of the event sequence, and then drag a begin session element into the experiment. You'll see a dialog pop up when you drop it, and this lets you specify a trigger pulse width. The trigger pulse width specifies how long Paradigm should keep the trigger value on the port before resetting it back to zero. The default trigger width is usually fine. So now Paradigm will establish communication with our data collection device when the experiment starts. Next we want to add some triggers. We'll start by adding a trigger that will mark the onset of our audio stimulus, which is being presented in the stimulus event. So I'll click on the stimulus event and drag a send marker element into its command area. Now when you drop it, you'll see a dialog pop up. This is where you'll specify the trigger, which can be between 1 and 255, and the port that this trigger should be sent on. Now you can specify a static trigger here, which means it will be sent with the same for each stimulus or you can change it with each trial, and I'll show you that later on. The onset time property lets you specify when this trigger should be sent relative to the onset of the stimulus. Being that we want this trigger to be synchronized with the audio stimulus onset, we're going to leave it set to same as event. Finally, we're going to leave the port type and port name as the default, which is the parallel port. But note that you could change it to another port if needed. So now we're marking the onset of the stimulus in our device data. 
We also want to mark when the subject responds in our data as well. In our experiment, the choice event is collecting the response. So I'll click on that event, and then I'll drag a send response element into it. The send response element allows you to specify a unique trigger for correct response, incorrect response, and then no response, which is used if the subject times out. So I'll specify three unique triggers. Now when the subject selects one of the two image choices, Paradigm will look to see if the correct response was given or not and send the corresponding trigger. But now I want to show you how to send a unique trigger for each stimulus in this block. To do that, we're going to be using Paradigm's connection feature, which you should be familiar with. So let's go into the trial table view and we'll first create a column to hold our unique triggers. If you look in the Connections tab, you'll see a new category for Ports has appeared. You can see the send marker element we've added, and it has a marker property. We're going to create a connection between this element's marker property and the column we just created. So now when this event runs, Paradigm will look into this column to get the corresponding device trigger for the current stimulus. So we are now sending a unique trigger for each of these stimuli. It's often the case that you'll want to send multiple triggers during a long duration stimulus like a movie or a sound. Paradigm Elements Reports lets you do that by adding multiple send marker elements to an event and then using the onset property to specify when each element should send their trigger. So let's add two more send marker elements to our stimulus event so we can mark the onset of the stimulus and two more events that occur while it's being presented. Now we're going to specify the onset time property for each send marker element, so Paradigm knows when to send the trigger. For the first one, we're going to leave it same as onset because we always want to know when the stimulus started. For the second, we'll specify an onset time of 50 milliseconds. So that means that 50 milliseconds after the onset of the stimulus, Paradigm will send this trigger. And finally for the third, we'll specify an onset time of 100 milliseconds. And again, that means that after 100 milliseconds, Paradigm will send this trigger. So we're now sending triggers at the onset of the stimulus, 50 milliseconds into the stimulus, and 100 milliseconds in the st into the stimulus. So you can see it's easy to send multiple triggers at different points during a stimulus using this onset time feature. Paradigm Elements Reports allows you to send triggers to multiple devices simultaneously. So for instance, suppose you wanted to send a trigger to both your EEG system and your BioPack, and your EEG system was connected using a network connection, and the BioPack was connected to the parallel port. To do that, you would add two send marker elements to an event. This one is going to connect to the parallel port and send markers to our BioPack system. And this one is going to connect to the network port and send markers to the EEG system.
So by adding multiple send marker elements to an event and specifying a unique port for each one, you can send triggers to multiple devices simultaneously. Thank you for watching. If you need further assistance, please consult the Paradigm Elements Reports help files, which are available in the Paradigm Help menu, or send us your question using the Ask Us a Question form on the support page of our website at ParadigmExperiments.com. Thank you for choosing Paradigm, and I hope your study goes well. Take care. Thank you.